All right, welcome to part two. I have a tweet put up that says we'd like to, to report you that Watch Brian was finally terminated. No more misinformation. Thank you, Twitter. Thank you all. Learn, learn why Brian becomes ripple here. And. On the last video, it was about this tweet longer, which says addressing impersonators and rebrand, which is ironically the reason I'm going to show you right now. By reading the rest of this. After a month or two, we decided to actually look back at the idea of making a live stream platform. Some of us had previous experience with RTPM, so we knew the basics of creating an infrastructure and etc. Prime.tv was taken, of course, so we went along with Prime. The idea was to release the platform in Q4 2020 with beta starting in Q3. Sometime after beginning the project, our software engineer Chase had struggles with setting up and configuring the peers for the project, so he asked 4chan and read it about it. Soon after that his accounts were hacked, his post were archived, and his personal Gmail was taken away by someone, as he had the same password on both, along with all of his work that was uploaded to a shared Google Drive account linked to the same personal Gmail. Luckily, we managed to get back most of the stuff he made because of an old shared folder in Drive. After that, we're not exactly sure what happened. On June 28th, we made our official uh, accounts and we started posting with the hashtag Brian. Just after Mixer's shutdown was announced and Herschel being the fourth, Dr. Disney Threat was banned from our biggest competitor and leader in the market, Twitch. We thought we would we were going to have all the spotlight and it felt great. A couple of hours ago, after our first post, we checked the comments and there were some people calling us out for impersonation. We did a quick search on the hashtag and we found out that Watch Brian claimed to be the official account while is tweeting like a child. Something was that people were actually following, following and believing them. At the time, we really we didn't really know what exactly to do because we did not have much. They didn't have much too, but their following base was much larger than ours. And by much, I mean that they have tens and thousands of followers while we had 15. In the next day or two, we were releasing visuals made for Brian while hoping that at one point people will understand who is real and who is not. Following up to today, our brand image for Brian is completely destroyed by some kids managing a Twitter account. That's why we are announcing name change and a rebrand. Hashtag Ribble, hashtag Ribble TV. Thank you.
signed Nick at Brimsoft Studios. Okay. So that pretty much says it says it all there. So, officially, they were the real Brian. And while they reported the Watch Brian account on Twitter, that still has not been deleted. A couple of days ago, it still hasn't been deleted. for about at least five or six days. Six or seven days, at least. So, so this account is Officially, or was officially, Brian. It was until probably this Brian stolen it, the original Brian's identity. But they were right that this Brian had more followers than that Brian at the time it was called. But Brian on the other hand called him out again and tweeted at them by saying, oh, you just got proved as a fake GG. Well, I wouldn't call them fake yet because they were developing a website of their own called Murray. And you guys haven't re really released anything yet, except that you did released. If you watch the part two of this video, they uh, released a, a new website domain, which I guess was only as part of a testing phase. And the link was practically deleted, or at least shut down. So, it was only kept up there for a day, and until it's finished, hopefully Watch Prime will release it. If they don't, then uh, we'll find out in the near future if this Prime here is actually the fake Prime. 